Good Thursday morning, everybody. My name is Rick Bork. It is Thursday, May the 30th, 2019. It's about 10 after 6 in the morning. We're on our way to check some beaver traps, set some beaver traps. I'm doing some damage control work for the county. So you may be thinking I'm out of season, which I am, but I have proper permits, proper licenses to be doing damage control work. Um, it's just one of those things where, you know, in order to have the toys and have the fun, have the stuff, I gotta put in the work. Make a few extra bucks here and there. And, uh, hang on, my alarm's going off. I was telling me I should be on the road, which I am. All right, so we're rolling up on our first stop here. Check and see if we got any beaver. Possibly set another trap at this location. I got two here, might want to set another one. So there's nothing here, the water level's dropped about a bunch and left my trap high and dry since I checked it yesterday, or since I said it yesterday. That happens when you're doing damage control work and they pull the plug out, so we're gonna go move that trap. We're gonna pull some of the debris out of the culvert there for the county, so that way they don't have to come back and do it with tobacco. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm doing a traditional caster mound set here. I want to make sure my trap's half submerged. Anchor your cable off well. Reuse my stabilizers. This is kind of a bottomless pond, so we'll put some sticks in here to hold this trap. We pull up a mound of mud, make a little bit of a ball here, kind of make it look like a caster mound. And then we'll take some caster lure. It's lure, it's not bait, because the beaver don't eat it, so it's not a bait. Like so, then on your stick, lay that right on top of your caster mound. And we'll come back in two days and check her again and see what happens. Okay, rolling up on the second location. You can see they had the flags out here on the side of the road. That's the beaver probably flooding it. Oh yeah. Wow. Alrighty then. So, so you can see where they pulled the plug out over here now water flows this way across the road beaver are gonna be plugging it up back in here and they're gonna be damming eating back there somewhere or over there somewhere so We got three culverts here. Let's take a look at this one down here. I want to see if they're plugging all of them. 
And if so, oh yeah, look at that. See that? They pretty much plugged that thing up solid last night. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up. See right here? And we actually have a beaver caster mound right here. A couple of them. And you can smell the beaver caster on it. Right down there is a perfect run to set the beaver trap in. Put a little of my own caster on there. Then they have they think they have an intruder. Basically, they think they have someone breaking into their house. So we'll put the trap in there. We'll put some caster on it. We'll get after it and we'll see if we can find one more location at least. When I'm trapping along a public road here, I try to camouflage this stuff a little bit. And I try to use minimal hardware, which means I'm not getting fancy with my trap setups. I'm not using a bunch of brackets and stands and all that stuff because there's a chance that this stuff gets stolen. Now, usually the county will reimburse me if I get it stolen, but that doesn't change the fact that you're not going to catch anything. And you still got to order that and you still got to wait and you still got to do all that garbage. So. Let's get some traps in here and see if we can catch something, shall we? Lure on this. I'm just going to use the beaver's caster mound. Put a good old chunk of caster on there like that. And put it right on his caster mound. So I'm going to grab my rake and pull the plug out. Pulling the plug out does two things. It uh, The beaver can sense the water it's dropping. So they'll come and investigate. And then obviously find my that they have an intruder so that's and it goes twofold plus out also helps to keep the culvert from plugging the rest of the way and the road flooding the county coming and burying my traps with the backhoe so one more trap then we'll pull the plug Okay guys, it's off to work for me. Got a couple places set, got a couple places left to set, probably tomorrow morning. Um, and then Saturday we'll check them. A lot of running and gunning. It's what it takes guys. It's not, it's not just working that eight to five. I gotta work before it, I gotta work after it. So, I'm gonna head off to work see what kind of stuff they have for me to work on today and then uh, tonight we're gonna head out to the cabin that's a must I was gonna do it last night and didn't but I have to go out there tonight because I have trade items that are going to a new home in uh, in this airboat deal and then I can say for sure Sunday we have 
new iron coming to the farm for the farm. It's actual farm iron coming. So hopefully you guys will come along for that. We gotta take a road trip to go pick that up as well, but oh well. Put on the miles, put in the time, and it usually pays off, so. Stick around, guys, we got a lot of videos for you. If you haven't subscribed, please take a moment to do so. If you like these videos, hit that thumbs up, ring my bell, get my notifications, and hey, we'll see you again next time.